microfluffy systems are often great at allowing you to accumulate the information that you want to store regarding your clients, their plans, their needs and wants. But how good are they at letting you use that data after it has been entered? Very often you find that the data you've spent a fortune entering is not available to you when you want to find and group your clients, either for analysis or perhaps to conduct a marketing campaign later. Now the best way to illustrate how Curo responds to this challenge is to show you a simple everyday example. Here's an email alerting me to the availability of tickets for a forthcoming game. There's an urgency here as the tickets are in hot demand and time is of the essence. So a quick reply to confirm my interest and claim first refusal. Now, I might be able to rely on my memory of clients that would be interested in attending, but let's say I'm part of a large business and looking to manage the invitations as part of an event service or looking to build relationships with people that are known to the firm but not to me personally. What I need to be able to do is find the people that are relevant and having done so, I need to be able to engage with them quickly. That is exactly what Kiro does brilliantly. Here's a list of active clients and if I select find, the system preloads the criteria on which the current list is based, simply the active clients in this case. Here I have a list of all of the other fields available within the system and I can simply click to add criteria into my search, such as the advisor for example. Now the system defaults to the presumption that I want to find my own clients and of course I can change that if I wish. I do have some international clients so it makes sense to select those that are resident in the UK. And what other criteria? Well, these tickets are rare, so I probably want to limit my invitations to those who are premium financial planning clients. Then of course there's the issue of whether people are even interested in the game of rugby at all, and by scrolling down I can select from all of the criteria that relate to a client, such as their planning objectives, their assets, and also here their interests. By selecting related interests, I can specifically tune my search to include only those people that prefer rugby to ballet, for example. If I wanted to, I could select multiple criteria. Now I think that I'm there, but wait a moment, there is an urgency to this and I really don't want to disappoint anyone that doesn't get the message quickly. So I'm going to quickly add another criteria, the availability of a work email address. At any time I can test the search criteria to see what records are found simply by clicking on the results button. And here are my most likely candidates, those that fit all of the criteria that I've input. Now if I'm managing a seminar, a large event, a highly targeted marketing campaign for example, I could have added many more and different criteria and found a very different group of clients. Having easily found what I was looking for, I now want to get in touch. I can do this most easily just by sending a direct mail or I can perform a mail merge if I want to post a personal letter. But I'm going to create a bit of structure to this and create something called a quick campaign based on the records that I've found. That starts up a simple to follow wizard. The first thing I need to do is give my quick campaign a name and then select the type of campaign from the list provided. Email via mail merge gives me exactly what I'm looking for the ability to quickly prepare and send a nicely laid out and personalized email. The next stage is to select the data items that I want to make available for inclusion in my message. Uh, the name of the client, for instance. I need to think through the email that I intend sending and consider how I can make the message more personal by inserting relevant data. The data items represented by columns on the table that I was looking at are automatically selected, as you can see. Now to create the message. The system opens Microsoft Word, which is an application that you're probably quite familiar with already, and reminds me of the clients that I found in Curo. I can still deselect anyone, even at this stage. Now I want to create a quick message and insert a relevant picture to grab attention. I find that an easy way to do this in Word is to start with a simple table. If I start by typing out the body of the message that I want to communicate, then inserting the text into a table keeps my typing neatly aligned. I can add and format the text using standard Microsoft Word formatting controls, and I can personalize the message using the standard insertion of mail merge items. Now to find an image to give my mail a bit of drama and to make it a bit more eye-catching. A quick search on the internet and a browse through the images to find something suitable. 
Here's one that will do nicely, and all I need to do is copy the image and paste it into the table, which I'm using as a container to make sure that the layout stays nice and tight. I need to resize the image, of course, so that it is in proportion. Now, I don't like those black lines, however, it's easy to remove them, and I now have something that looks professional, and I can preview the mail merge just by clicking on Next, just here. As you see, it is brought through James's name, and because I'm happy with the way that it looks, I can click again to complete the merge. Now, because in Curo I selected the option to send this message as an email, the merge option in Word invites me to send this as electronic mail, which is exactly what I want to do. I need to enter a subject line, which is the title of the email that will be sent to all of these clients and the system asks me to confirm whether I want the system to generate activities against each client to record that the message has been sent. If this were a marketing campaign to a large group of prospects, I could include an unsubscribe link so that the prospects have the opportunity to notify me, not to mail them again. And as you see, I can even add attachments to my email if I have any. As it happens, I do want to create activities, and when I click to say OK, the emails are sent and the activities are created. Now, if I slip back into Outlook, I'd expect to see some sent items, and here they are. Each has been tracked automatically against the relevant client, which means that just one click away from the client's record in Curo. If I scroll down, I can see the criteria that I used in my find a while ago. Here, the client is interested in rugby, and here they are as a premium financial planning client. I asked the system to record the email that I sent as an activity, and here it is, saved to posterity and automatically available to my colleagues as part of the correspondence history for this client. But that's not all. The system has also set this communication regarding the quick campaign that I created. And here is the campaign, ready for either myself or an assistant to manage the response. Well, that's been a very brief introduction to the subject of finding records in Curo, and I hope that you've enjoyed this practical example of finding what you want and acting upon it instantly. Many thanks indeed.